UFC Fight Night 60. Benson Henderson has baby teeth, and I hate him. Let's go. Benson Henderson, former lightweight champion. Uh, he lost the belt spectacularly to uh, Anthony Pettis. Who whooped his ass and I loved it because I hate Benson Henderson. Look look at this motherfucker. Doesn't he look like somebody would be like on the side of the street asking you for change? Just like, hey, hey buddy, can I get a sandwich? Look at this motherfucker. And just to show you I'm not just like picking photos where he looks stupid as fuck. That's another photo from another angle. He looks stupid as fuck. I hate him. Uh he's a good fighter. But he's more like a point fighter. I cannot stand that shit. He's like he he he. I don't know how many knockouts he has, but it can't be many because he's like a point fighter, like a karate or a fucking uh what's that other shit? That stupid ass fighting shit. Oh, taekwondo, <laughs> taekwondo fighter, point fighter, and he has a stupid face, and he fights with a toothpick in his mouth, and he loves to do that shit. They've tried to stop him, but he keeps doing it. But whatever. Brandon Thatch, a welterweight up and comer. Benson Henderson took this fight on short notice because of an injury, and he actually went up a weight class. Benson is a lightweight. Brandon is a welterweight. Brandon is a huge welterweight. So we got Benson, the toothpick Henderson, versus Brandon. I don't know much about him, Thatch. Fight started. You can see there's an obvious size difference. <laughs> Look at that shit. It's like uh, Goliath and shit. David and Goliath. It's a huge fucking difference in size. And there was a huge difference when Brendan hit Benson. You could see the fucking impact on him. Uh, it. it like would knock him into the fucking cage and it would knock him around and Benson was still doing this little fucking pretty boy bullshit where he fucking tries to point fight or whatever and he was just getting knocked the fuck around look at the pretty boy's hair I hate his fucking hair too oh I hate when he does that rubs his hair back bitch so end of the first round basically I would give it to Thatch Thatch was basically just knocking Henderson around. Henderson could not hurt this fucking monster. The guy's a genetic freak. And I bet he cuts a lot of weight. Second round. Henderson comes out still trying his same fucking shenanigans. Point fighting shit. Uh, and then he tries something different. Oh my god. And this is where it all starts to go wrong. Well, no, not here, because this was kind of sweet. <laughs> Thatch. A pretty-ass sweep. Well, he just swept Henderson straight to the fucking ground. Really nice. But I noticed he didn't get on top of him and capitalize on that shit like most fighters would. He just went straight back to fighting on the feet. And he scores another one, another little sweep, and throws Henderson to the ground. It's an obvious size difference, obvious strength deficit on Henderson's part. And so, every time he got him down, he would do nothing. He'd just stand him up. So, Henderson's there trying to fucking kick. Like, hey, come on to the ground. And Thatch has none of that shit. Back to the fucking stool, you fucking stoolie. And then, more, more Thatch beating his fucking head in, bashing on him, punching him around. And I mean, it's like Henderson was getting some punches in, some kicks in, but they didn't hurt him at all. It was like kicking a fucking tree. Thatch with a nice kick. Henderson then goes and does something different. Takedown try. And he gets Thatch to the ground. It, it, wait a minute, what the fuck? It's getting Thatch's back. It's like three minutes left in this fucking round. He's got Thatch 
He's got a body triangle on him. He's got the fucking back. And this when you find out that Thatch has no fucking ground game. You sorry son of a bitch. In this day and age, day and age it's like, come on now. You, you do not come into the fucking UFC with no fucking ground game. You got a guy on your back that's half your weight, not even nearly your strength, and you can do nothing about it. He has two minutes left. Look at this shit. He's just all over him like a fucking spider monkey. And Thatch can do nothing. They finally get back up. What, 17 seconds left? Big fucking deal. But Henderson is not a dumbass, even though I hate him and he looks like a homeless man. Uh, he, he has his number. He's like, yeah, got your fucking number, Thatch. Look at them fucking eyes. I hate that motherfucker. Okay, Thatch comes out. At this point, he cuts so much weight that... He, his punches and kicks have like very little impact at this point he throws some stuff and then whoa back to the fucking ground where we get more of him doing nothing and of course Henderson takes his fucking back good job Thatch you're the future of the UFC fucking loser so then you got Thatch all over the ground. I mean, Benson's just rolling all over this motherfucker. And he can do nothing. A minute and 38 seconds left. And he's covered up like a fucking baby. And then Benson. Oh, another takedown by Benson. Because Thatch tried to get up. Didn't work. Like, you know, you ain't getting your ass up. Get back here, big boy. He gets the back completely. Almost got the body triangle locked in. Ugh. And there we, you pretty much know what's after this, right? There's <laughs> nothing going on after this. Done. Good job, Brandon. You fucking loser. And this asshole, fucking homeless man wins. The only reason I don't like Benson Henderson is because he's like a little arrogant girl. He's not arrogant like, you know, like uh, some of the greater fighters were. You know, like Silva and stuff like that, where he's like, you know, he talks shit or whatever, but it's like manly. He's like a girl. He's brushing his fucking hair back, and he got baby teeth. Fuck him. Look at him. He runs over to the rent fucking whoever he's talking to over there. See, I told you I could do it. Told you I could do it. Uh-huh. Fuck you. And then look at this big loser. You big dummy. Okay. That's enough of this shit. Fuck you. Now we have Ray Bird Borg versus Chris Calletes. Fight I wasn't looking forward to. Didn't give a shit about. But these two, oh my God, they put on a fucking show. And it wasn't a boxing show. It wasn't a standing show. It was on the ground and it was intricate and it was fucking beautiful. I mean, uh Hold on, let me go back so I can remember these fucking losers' names. Ray. Ray and Chris. Okay. Now, Ray was basically like a little uh, Hispanic pit bull. <laughs> he was all over. <laughs> all over Chris. And it was horrible. And, but, from the bottom, he was doing some beautiful things. I mean, he, he, I mean, oh man, the transitions in this fucking fight were ridiculous. He would get him in positions where you think he'd be over, but no, he'd slip out. And it, oh, look, and then he, he fucking sweep and take him down, and he had him down for a little while. And, but then, of course, this guy being the pit bull that he is, he was slamming him all over the fucking place. It was ridiculous. He was just like, he was a fucking monster. I'm going to check this. I want to see blood work on this bitch. I want to see blood work on his ass. It was ridiculous. And so, <laughs> look, another slam where he carried him all the way across the fucking ring. Look, at the, he was carrying like a fucking baby. Like they were going to the goddamn Walmart and just slammed his ass down, beating him up. I mean, the guy on the bottom, he was fucking, oh man, he was good, but he couldn't handle this kid. He was a fucking monster. Second round, this guy's, he's not even breathing. Hey, dude, you see sweat? He got some bad skin, though. You know, fucking pockmarks. Need a dermatologist, but still, this motherfucker's not even breathing heavy. And he was slamming this guy all over the fucking ring. 
So then you got more of the same in round two. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly more of the same. And he's slamming him around. But still dangerous from the bottom. I mean, it was, he was really tricky. But the thing about it is, you got a guy that's beating on you the whole time. It doesn't give a fuck how much, how tricky you are from the bottom. I mean, you need to do some offense. Defense is not going to get it. So basically, this was a war of attrition. Oh, man. Some bad positions, but he always slipped out. Every fucking time, it was amazing, but what the fuck are you going to do? You got a fucking Mexican pit bull with bad skin on you. It's gonna, you're going to fucking lose. Sorry, buddy. It's not going to happen for you today. Oh, man. And then he almost had the fucking Kimura going on right here. And look at this. This is beautiful. He had the fucking Kimura, so he splits his legs apart so he can't get lock it in. Incredible. But guess what? Incredible. Oh, that's ugly. Incredible's not going to save you every fucking time. And he gets the tap out. Peace in the Middle East, buddy. This motherfucker is somebody to watch for. And get him a dermatologist. Michael Prezeres versus Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee's from Detroit. Michael's from Brazil. You can tell by the fucking brow. Fucking... Big ass unibrow and a big ass jaw because people in Brazil are on steroids from the day of birth. They don't give a fuck. Steroids are legal in Brazil, so they take them. They're like, hey, I want to look manly. I want to good, look good on the beach. That's what they do. <laughs> so this big motherfucker jumps on his back at the beginning. Uh, he walks him over to the edge of the cage and he's looking like, well, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> this was hilarious. And he looks like, um, you done? You you want to get it down? You sure? Okay, piggyback. <laughs> He's just like looking around. And this fight went pretty much the way I expected. The guy from Detroit had great fucking hands. You come from Detroit. You come from that fucking boxing heritage. This here, Kronk and shit like that. Hearns. And you got the Brazilian who's on steroids. Look at the big ass arms. Um, the the highly muscled, highly muscled, and big ass forehead. He's good for two rounds, and then of course he fucking peters out, and that's what happened. So basically, it was a boxing show. After that, I mean, this was ridiculous because this guy couldn't even keep his hands up by the third. Second, in the middle of the second, his hands were down, and he was just like stumbling around. And every time he got hit, he would fucking just all bobble back. And it was ridiculous. This, this was kind of funny. Uh, he sat on his fucking head for a little bit, and he, I don't know, it was stupid, whatever. So, it was basically a give it one and a half rounds where he was viable and then he just beat up on him basically yep look at that takedown after takedown he could take him down whenever he wanted to because the guy was tired look at him fucking thinning hair big ass forehead big ass jaw steroids so anyway he looks like a fucking caveman and he was just knock. Look at that. It's ridiculous. He was knocking them all over the ring. He had no fucking stamina at all, and pretty much made had his way with him. It was almost like he gave him a date rape drug. It was ridiculous. It's like okay, you can give it up. Yes, you are. And he had nothing left for him. <laughs> oh, I'm from Brazil. Yeah, whatever. And now you get choked out like you're from Brazil and get to go back. Okay, that was it was a decent fight. This fight <laughs> This is my favorite fight of the night. And that's because it was like a B movie. Daniel Kelly, Patrick Walsh. Patrick Walsh didn't make weight and he doesn't look like that at all. You'll see later. Daniel Kelly is a judo fighter i think he was an olympics olympic judo fighter but they trained him in boxing and he wanted to show his fucking hands this fight he didn't want to use his judo and he wanted to show what he had learned as far as boxing 
And that's a nice Photoshop job because this motherfucker is fat. He is chubby. <laughs> there he is. Chubby guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> He was eating Captain Crunch before he came with his fucking weigh-ins. And he did not give a fuck. He's like, uh, what, 30% of my purse? Who gives a fuck? And then you got this pasty bastard who was just, I'm, uh, I'm a judoko, but I'm going to use my boxing because my master said I'm good at it. And you're not. You're horrible. <laughs> who the fuck is this? It's one of those guys from that show, the Duck, Duck Dynasty. You got the Duck Dynasty guy in here fucking calling the match. All right, whatever. Okay, we got Love Captain Love Handles here. This fucking match looks like Dana White was like, hey, we don't have a fucking fifth fight. Let's go in a crowd, grab two guys having drank too much, and let them duke it out. <laughs> have at it. So you got pasty here and love handles going at it. This motherfucker was hilarious. He had this smirk on his face like he didn't give a fuck. And he didn't. The whole time. And this guy was looked so intense. It was like the schoolyard bully versus the kid whose granddad had taught him some boxing moves. <laughs> and he was like, I'm going to prove to my granddad that I can take this bully down. I'm not afraid. And that's what this shit looked like. It was ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this guy. And look how intense he is. Like, I'm going to win this, and it doesn't fucking matter. This guy didn't make weight. He's a fucking loser. But you're all fucking, oh, I'm going to fucking win this. And this guy was just throwing blows from wherever, whenever, and hitting him. He was trying to use perfect form, but his form was horrible. But, oh, my God. It was, it was a clusterfuck. Look at him. Granddad, granddad said, keep the hands high. <laughs> and this guy's like, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to have a fucking beer. So, got the karate kid, no, judo kid over here. And the hand love handles going at it. Oh, he took him to the ground at one point. Nothing, uh, nothing happened. Love handles just blasting him. He's <laughs> still smirk on his face. He does not give a fuck. Look look at his fucking face. And see, the thing is, he wasn't getting beat up that bad. It's just that he's so fucking pasty. It looks like he's getting shit beat out of him. Get a tan, you motherfucker. Look at the fucking side of his neck and shit. That's not, that's not blood. That's the side of his face. It's all bruised up in his forehead and all that because of this guy just slamming into him and him being so pasty. Granddad said more more words of wisdom from granddad and this guy not giving a fuck. They go to the fucking arm fucking oh I see a little worry in his eye. No, no. No it's not. They come back out. This kid still be a look at that fucking face. And love handles are just like <laughs> look here. I'll teach you. You you better stop. You're not gonna pickle me anymore after this. <laughs> so, and more. This <laughs> looks like a. Ch does this or does this not look like a fucking playground fight with the Duck Dynasty dude near here? <laughs> what the fuck? So more of the same. More of the same. Oh, this is lovely. Look at him. Like, come on, come on, bro. Get at me. No, Granddad said, don't let you taunt me. So, more fighting. Oh, it's a nice double punch right there. There was, and then of course, who do you think won? Who do you think won? This is not a fucking movie. Oh fuck, <laughs> he did win. <laughs> the the fucking kid, granddad, granddad. Yeah, you said I could do it. Oh my god, let me back the fuck up real quick. So anyway. Fucking judo kid won. Next time I suggest he use his fucking judo because he looked like a dumbass out there boxing. It was horrible. And then we get this fucking fight. Look at this guy. He looks like a fucking racist caricature. I swear to God. And and the bad part is he does not look like that in real life. Then that motherfucker look like I'm a, I'm a lazy Joe boss. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I swear I'm a lazy Joe. 
I'm going to go out and sun myself. I ain't plowing no fields. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear to God, whoever fucking took this video needs to be fucking fired because they're a goddamn racist. This motherfucker look, looks nothing like this. Zero. He should have taken that fucking footage back to the fucking truck. Said, hey, the kid, Neil, looks like a goddamn jigaboo <laughs> on this video. We need to go back and hit him with some more light. Because that was uncalled for. He's fighting Koichi. Koichi. Look at Koichi looking all sexy and shit. Got his hair all perfect. And then you go back. I'm a lazy Joe, boss. <laughs> what the fuck? So anyway. <laughs> more lazy Joe. <laughs> and look at that. There, there we go. He's a handsome kid with some big ass ears. He did not look to, need to look like that. With some bullshit. So Neil Magny. A newer guy in the UFC, Koichi. Uh, the Japanese need to just give it up. Okay, I need to say that right now. Just bring it out. Japanese people, you invented jiu-jitsu and all that shit. But guess what? Physically, you cannot hang with the rest of the world. You're tiny people. You're built like little girls. <laughs> give that shit up. So, especially with the weight cutting and all that shit, they can't fucking compete over here. It's ridiculous. So you got Neil, who's basically uh, a boring ass mid tier fighter, fighting a guy who's on his way out, and he's Japanese, so he has no physical prowess whatsoever. And this, what, what, uh, what upset me about this kid was, he was constantly looking over to. His coaches and things when they were t and they were telling him to do things and he would do everything they told him. And I know a lot of fighters they say, "Oh, you know, you should have listened to your ring man and all that shit." But a fighter has to have an intensity. He has to have a fucking aggression in him and want to fucking win. And sometimes he'll just come out and he'll fucking do whatever fuck he wants to, and it, it'll fucking work. This motherfucker was like a robot. They were telling him what to do, and that's what he did. He had no fucking fire in his eyes. Look, he won. He's like, hey, thumbs up, guys. And I don't see him going anywhere past the middle. Good job, Neil. And get a better Photoshop guy. Then we had Max Holloway versus Cole Miller. Uh, Cole has been around forever. Look at that fucking hairline. Yeah, you know he's been around for a while. Max is a fucking very athletic guy. Very exciting fighter. Cole has been out for a while. And not a very exciting fighter. Uh, been around for a long time. And you can see the physical difference here. It's looking like he's fighting the old man he's delivering the paper to. And it's not a pretty thing. Cole was trying some fucking kicks. It was horrible. Don't kick Cole. Cole, keep your legs on the goddamn ground. You look like the Karate Kid or worse. Look at this. Look at this shit. That fucking big ass alien head. He's built like a twelve year old with osteoporosis. <laughs> Max, Max is just like, what the fuck is this guy doing with this alien head? And you know, look at this fucking kick. It's ridiculous. Like nothing there, and he hits nothing. Like yeah, <laughs> nothing. Oh, what the? Oh! It was terrible. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Holloway shows him some fucking kicks, and it was a whole different story. Look at his ass. Like what the fuck is that, dude? It's not fair. Because it wasn't. It was a whole different story when he was kicking him. Because he showed him what athleticism is. And he does not have it. At one point he had him up and was trying. He wanted he wanted to get him down to the ground in his guard. And that was never going to happen. Holloway is not stupid. He's not going to go down to this fucking veteran who submitted all kinds of people. And get into his fucking guard. He had him on the ground at one point. Almost had the leg lock in. But he's he escaped it. <laughs> More karate kid shenanigans. What all? What And then Cole shows him a fucking no no. Holloway shows him a kick, yeah, and it's different. He's like, no, it's not fair. 
Shows him his kick. Holloway gets it down, beats him a little bit. It was uh it wasn't an even fight, but Cole was doing was working a lot more, but Holloway was getting more damage in. Definitely. At one point he just laid on his back and asked him to come into his garden. He was having none of that shit. Who the fuck would go for that? And then oh the the first headbutt. Which was and he said it's a headbutt, but in, in the video, if you see watch the video, you can see he pulled them towards him, and they bumped heads. And he was getting pissed about it, like he was so upset, like it was intentional, but it was not. He definitely grabbed them, and on the fucking pull, when they were struggling together, he got the headbutt. So, but it did. It did affect the fight, because the blood was all in his eye. You could see it. And there was a, a couple of more bumps against that fucking eye. But it really didn't make much of a difference because he was just beating his ass anyway. Look, at more on the ground like, hey, come on, get in my guard, bro. No, not going to happen. They patched up the head. That was another head, but towards the end of the round. And he's like wincing and complaining like Holloway did it on purpose, which he didn't. And you could see on both of them that he was almost he almost pulled them directly into the fucking eye. And then he's on the ground getting pounded again. Oh, oh, oh. Got him in the guard. Now what's what's gonna happen? Nothing because he got him back up and he's just bleeding out. Look <laughs> at that fucking head leaking like a faucet. And and Holloway's just like banging on him towards the end of the round. Banging on him. And then like the last five seconds or so Holloway just starts going crazy and starts throwing all his karate kicks on him <laughs> like spin kicks and Brazilian kicks and it's like whoa look at that shit <laughs> he was all over the fucking place he turned into a ninja for the last five seconds and of course he won he deserved it he knows his fucking headbutts were not intentional so UFC fight night uh, it was all, of, all in all good show not a great show. I enjoyed it. Some good stuff. I hate the Benson Henderson one because he looks like a homeless man. He has baby teeth. But whatever. We'll see you next time.